with We've this broke random down. man, and my mum just sat in the car. It's, and um, didn't have to drive. It's half one. Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new weekly vlog. So I did actually start this yesterday because it's currently Tuesday, but I literally filmed one clip in the morning and I was like, this is what I've done and this is what I'm gonna do. And then I didn't pick up my camera again. I just kind of had a day doing some work. I kind of didn't get everything I wanted done, which was a shame, but that was kind of me being lazy because I did sit on my bed all day. But then, you know, the drill was Monday, so I obviously went to pole and then the gym afterwards. So it's Tuesday at half 12. Me and my mum did go to the gym this morning, but we are all off to London because Chi has my You don't have anything in your calendar for next Tuesday at 12.30 p.m. Thank you very much, Siri. Um, because Chi has like a show on in London, kind of like a cinema show situation. Um, me and my mum were just gonna go, but we're all gonna go show our love and support because it's just the first kind of thing she's ever done like this. So we're all gonna go, that's not till nine o'clock though. So we're leaving now, probably we'll end up leaving about one-ish. Um, we're just gonna go shopping, wanna go to Selfridges. There is a bag I want. And I nearly bit the bullet the other day and I just went online and I was like, do they have it? If they have it, I'm just gonna buy it. Um, it's sold out, so maybe I should take that as a sign. But I'm hoping Selfridges has it or they know somewhere that has it. If not, anyway, we're just gonna shop. I want some new trousers and some new skirts because I sold everything on Depop because nothing really fit me and it wasn't really like my style anymore anyway. So I wanna go in Urban Outfitters. I really want a little denim skirt. So hopefully I'll find that, some cargoes. I wanna go on weekday, look at some jeans. So yeah, we're just gonna have a nice family day out in London and then we're gonna see Chi later at her show. She's staying over in London tonight though, I think she has a meeting tomorrow morning so she won't be coming back with us or anything. But I also don't know what she's doing today. I think her mum might be going to the show though so I'm sure them two will probably go up together and like do whatever. There's my purse. Sorry, I've just been looking around like, where is my purse? I know I had it. This is what I'm wearing. I've worn this outfit out before, actually on a date night. Um, but I didn't get a picture of it, so I'm wearing it again. It is just this shirt from Motel, and I've got on a grey Primark bra because a black one just looks really like horrible and dark under it. I don't know what this is on the shirt. And then this is the Zara skirt that was like viral a few months ago. I'm just gonna put my Air Force on. I think I might bring my Levi's and jacket. Hello, so we have now arrived, it is six o'clock. Um, it didn't do much filming. We went, we just came straight to Oxford Street and we were shopping, so there wasn't really anything to film. We went in Selfridges, they didn't have the bag I wanted, maybe for the best. But we did buy, um... I told them the bad news. What? I wanted the Balenciaga bag so badly. They just didn't have the green one anywhere. No, sold out everywhere. And they did, um, they had the pink one, which I do really like, but I just, I, I had my heart set on the green. But the pink is also sold out online now, so I should have bought it and like sold it. <laughs> Very entrepreneurial. Matt made us go into Nike Town. Guys, a pot of mango itself is just thirteen pound. I don't want a mango one. Oh, who's mango for me? You said you wanted mango. Oh, I said two because I thought you wanted mango. No. What is ice cream? So I've never had a little moon ever. Oh. Oh really? Everyone's oh, right. What? They're good or not? Like, there's just no need for the skim. <laughs> Man, look, no, not mad about skin. Skin is just pointless, I don't really get it. As I said, it's now six. I think I'm planning, we're gonna go to Zara quickly, one of them. I haven't found anything I like today. Although there was a pair of trousers in Urban Outfits that were really nice, but I went 60 quid. And then I think we're gonna head over to where the cinema is, that cheese thing is at, and eat over there. So, our verdict on Little Moons. One more, sorry? That. <laughs> Chewy. <laughs> different. It's tasty though. Yeah. Where is he? What about you? Yeah, I do feel like I'm like nibbling someone's elbow a little bit. <laughs> the raspberry one, the sorbet ones I think are nicer. Um, the skin's nicer. Um. You know like... Like the ice cream's nice, but like why does it need to be in like a You know like when skin? you buy new football boots and like you're wearing studs and hard ground and you get loads of dead skin coming off the bottom of your foot. Oh, I'm, I'm still of, eating it. Reminds me a bit of that. <laughs> We've now left. Where were we? Oxford Street. We're in... What's this place called? Hackney. That no, we're not in Hackney. Are we not? Dalston. Oh, I thought this was Hackney. Where the cinema is. The cinema's just there. Nando's. Uh, we're trying to find a restaurant. There's a Turkish, there's a pizza. There is a Nando's. <laughs> <laughs> we have come to a Turkish to eat. I got a few starters. We have some veg, 
from hummus and some falafel which already had hummus on it, so I probably didn't need the hummus. But you haven't had hummus? Huh? What's that? I got hummus because I wanted it with my falafel, but my falafel has hummus. <laughs> <laughs> so we're here now. We've finished our tur Turkish tea with the sea. Nice and light dinner, wasn't it? <laughs> anyway, we're queuing. They said they'll let us in at exactly nine o'clock. I think she might be sitting with us. She might be sitting with her mum. We might all sit together like a happy family. Who knows? There's a few people here. Why are you doing that? <laughs> there is a few people here, so if you're watching this cheap, people are coming. Including us. We are, we have arrived to the venue, to the cinema that she is at. I don't know what the situation is, I don't know when she says her little speech, but would you like to see? It is, it is a cinema, so obviously I can't, you know, film the film. Good though, it looks like it's set up for like a theatre, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I didn't think there'd be a stage. Quick I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna. <laughs> So this is um, what it's going to be. I'm going to guess she'll be standing right there. Hi guys, thanks for coming. Here's my film. And yeah, um, definitely be like a big drop screen. I don't really know. There's a projector there. Well, yeah, it's a cinema. I was doing it all the other night. I'm not in any of them, am I? Like this. Have you watched the film that she's put on? No. You haven't seen it? No. No, I haven't even. I'll put the <laughs> Brilliant, well, world class film from Tuba C made at 3 a.m. two days I've ago. Seen it was then. <laughs> so we finished the show. Oh, you vlogged it? Yeah, I'm weekly vlogging. Did you film vlogging. any of it, like in the actual film? No, we were in a cinema yeah. watching well, the new well, release. No, it wasn't really like it was, you know, don't take pictures, don't want it to spoil the <laughs> Universal Studios. But no, I didn't. Oh. It was wonderful. I wanted though. someone to film the intro so I could look back and have Someone did. Did they? Who? Some weirdo on the side. Done what? Then he would disappear. Oh, oh my god, you know, I completely forgot about The Guardian were reviewing it. <laughs> the newspaper? Yeah. <laughs> it was a good outro then. I, I said yeah. to the. Yeah. That's it. Patrick said to me to do oh no, I said that was it was Patrick time. that filmed it. Yeah. No, he was at the back for me. He's the whole time. Someone's creeped aside and then ran away. Someone done what? And filmed the the first bit. Oh, really? Anyway, we're in McDonald's now, yeah. getting this one happy meal. She's decided that's probably you. She's decided to come home with us and I've got a Coke Zero so now I have to go because I don't have enough hands. Oh. The car with We've this broke random down. man and my mum just sat in the car. It's and um didn't have to drive. It's half one. Dad, oh, <laughs> sorry, all the fun of the fair. <laughs> Wait, what is it? That's better. All the fun of the fair. Whoops, the lights are going. Battery's gonna go flat. Oh no. Who knows how we're gonna get home at this stage? It's half one in the morning. She's mum went home on a train and she decided to come with us. They're camping. They're fading. Plus, my show was yeah, really shit. <laughs> it was really good. We've both got Matt's tracksuit bottoms on, shining light down. I'm wearing mine as um, a, a kind of. No, oh, it looks quite nice. I'm wearing <laughs> it like so. The ar the legs are my arms, and this is just kind of straight. Yeah. Yeah, Megan, can you send that to Chi? Why is it so zoomed in? Have you been vlogging the breakdown? No, we just said that we broke down, but now we're not. Now we're not broke down. It was half two. I know. Yeah. Work the starts. rescue man has come. I was work starts in six hours. Look, I just, I was rubbing my eye and I've got makeup everywhere. Yeah, it works. Starts. Let me know if you think this is a ridiculous job. So, to more. I think it's a great job. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I'm a cleaner, and but it's a very clean place. So all I have to do is <laughs> all I have to do is go around and like sanitize the door handles once an hour. Is it a bit unsafe to have that window like that, Dad? Summer and it starts day, yeah. and it starts in six hours, and we're still like an hour away from home. It doesn't even start in five I've, and a half. I've got and then I've got to obviously you know have some food when I get in, make some lunch for tomorrow. No, no one eats at these times. But anyway, the breakaway match. <laughs> we're gonna go on a car whilst we're in a car. I think that's what we're doing, yeah. And um, hopefully go home. Oh, it's half two. My face is huge. Earlier it was really small. And my eyes are panned up. Would you like to charge yours, Meg? No. It's okay, you can if you want to. I'm a social queen. <laughs> what have you got? Eleven. Just trying to film a roller coaster, but it's not happening. <laughs> Just keep your fierce and safe place. Yeah. Too many of them. What were you doing there? Just start your engine because it'll make life easier. Okay. Keep it down, keep down, down, down. Going home. Why are we going home? You said I'm taking you to safe space, there's too many of you. Let's see, you can turn it off now. And what are we 
do it next time. Let's get us somewhere safe first. There's too many of us. Wonder if Morgan Jones are in the office right now. Sorry mate, not working tomorrow. Morning! I've been up for a while now actually. I've been up since 10, I don't know why. We got back at 5 yesterday and my dad, bless him, had to stay with the car. So, basically, I'm not gonna lie, I don't really know why they did what they did. They sent someone to move us because we were on the motorway. So they sent someone to take us to the next junction. But then he said that he couldn't take us on the back of his truck in the car because there's too many people and it's too heavy, which was... Fair enough. But then he said another truck was gonna come and take the car and a taxi for us. So I don't know why they didn't just send a truck and a taxi to begin with. They sent like one truck to move us and then they were like another truck and a cab's gonna come now that you're moved. Don't know. But he'd moved us by maybe half two. Um, and then we sat there until half four waiting for a taxi. So I don't really know how that worked, why it took so long to be honest. I guess it was just like really busy. So we waited two hours for a taxi and then obviously there was five of us because Chi was with us. So us four went back in the taxi and my dad had to wait with the car. I got up at seven and looked outside for my dad's car and it wasn't there and I was like, oh, they've obviously taken it straight to the garage because the tire's like gone, there's not a tire on it. Um, but now it's there. So I'm hoping my dad hasn't literally got back like an hour ago because that'd be pretty crazy unless they've like come back and dropped the car separately. I don't know, no one's awake. But I filmed a Foreo ad the other day and I filmed stories and it was supposed to be a reel. <laughs> so I'm gonna put my hair up now and film like a little morning skincare routine, morning thing and quickly edit that off and send it off and then I think I'm just gonna literally sit in the garden all day. I'm too tired to go to the gym. I've literally slept for like four hours. Um, I don't know why my body just woke me up. So I'm gonna sit outside, do some poly stuff. I need to go to the post office because I never did that. Oops, now it's Wednesday. And me and my friends are gonna go potentially for dinner and to the cinema later. vlog at all yesterday <laughs> i don't think so but i need to go to the post office now because guess what i still haven't done it but i thought i would just show you what i bought yesterday quickly because i'm waiting for someone to potentially answer me on depot so let me show you a parcel i got from skinny dip for no 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 skinny tan it's like the most perfect parcel also look at this listen to our tanning thursday it's like um tanning thursday package because you know most people like do their tanning routine on a thursday ready for the weekend i actually am going to try this all in this vlog so stay tuned thursday and the weekend is in sight for us that means for us that means only one thing it's time to get tanning we've enclosed tan blah 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 blah, blah and there's a qr code for spotify playlist should we actually see what it's like there's literally like two songs on it anyway cool so we have an exfoliating mitt which I now want to touch. Orange side exfoliates and prepares the skin for smooth application. Brown side pro level dermas... I don't know what that says. To remove or correct excess tan. So brown side. And then we have an exfoliator. It says pre-tan primer. But it just says remove traces of previous tan. Don't make exfoliates. So I think it's just an exfoliator. It's actually Thursday now. But I'm not going to tan today. Because I don't think I'm doing anything over the weekend. Friday, Saturday. But my friend's having like a birthday party situation on Sunday. Yeah, it's just an exfoliator. So that's nice. I feel exhausted. I went to the gym this morning. This tanning mitt is the best tanning mitt in the world. I've gone through like five of them. I swear by them. I told everyone to get them. The skinny tan, just like pink velvet tanning mitt. It is sensational and it feels amazing. And then the star of the show, obviously, we have their, the tan they have sent, which is the Skinny Tan Wonder Serum. Silky Skin Loving Q10 Tanning Serum. Instant Iridescent Bronze, Long Lasting and Flawless Tan. I'll be interested to see what this is like, if it's like a serum and you don't have a guide colour or whatever. I've never actually heard of it or even seen someone talk about it, so that should be interessante. Let me show you what I bought from Zara quickly yesterday and then we'll get going to the post office. I don't know what else I'm doing today. I kind of need to get a picture for an ad. So I got this set, but the shorts don't fit me. I didn't try any of it on, which is stupid because I don't have Zara near me. So it's just these cute little shorts. They have little 
moment on the side they're like knit and then this cute little top but yeah the shorts don't fit can you see the cut detailage i just thought that'd be cute autumn vibes but not a bit so and then i got this red top which again i still need to try it on but it's like this and then just ties at the back so it's like completely backless am i a red girl hmm it used to be this dress, which I think I'm going to wear Sunday, but again, I need to try on. God, it's got really creased in the back. So it's a cute cow neck situation. And then the back, yeah, it does cross at the back, doesn't it? Crosses at the back, a bit of a low back. Cute slip dress. And then that pattern I got in trousers, because I just thought they were really cute. But I haven't tried any of it on. This is more than like, there we go, you can see all the colours. Cute, I might try that on, or I will try it on. When I get back, but I need to go to the post office and I need to freaking drink because i'm dying so i feel like this is always a bit backlit i'm just trying on the zara clothes i just got back from the post office these are the trousers and i actually love them i love the fit of them i love something a bit lower at the moment um like just below the belly button so i actually really like them and they're not an awful length i mean i have to take up every okay they are quite a bit longer but with shoes on i don't feel like they would be awful i have to take up everything anyway but i love them they're a great fit so this is the trousers if i wear these on sunday i might get a little small blue top i feel like that could be cuter than the dress but let's try the dress on actually i'm gonna quickly pop on the red top <laughs> just so i can try it on and then we'll pop on the dress okay cute i feel like this could probably be worn a bit lower like the straps a bit thingier at the back but i think that's really cute I mean, a bit different. That needs to go. Look like a crazy disco 70s person right now with the colours. But I think that's cute. I think it was like £20 as well. It feels amazing. The silk of both of these is really nice. I nearly just got back changed, so excuse the shorts on the floor. But this is the dress, and it fits really nicely as in, like, it goes in on my waist where it's supposed to, and it's a nice length, but the straps are just too long and it's creased so like this would be a bit of a cow neck and then the back's like cross which is cute but yeah the straps are just too long but once we change them it'll be fine but i think i'm gonna wear the trousers order a cute blue top and i have these some people are doing heels i might do them unsure but it's like a perfect match i might take a picture and then wear them there and then like take them off as soon as i get there hello it's been a day of not much once again i was just doing a q a on my fitness instagram if you want to go and follow it it's underscore Meg fit, I think. <laughs> but yeah, I went, to be fair, I went on a walk with my family, but just to the beach. And you guys have seen the beach loads, although Folk Week is on, which is like um, an event that happens down here in summer with like stalls and stuff. It's quite cute. We went out last night there, but yesterday was a bit of a funny day. So I just seen my friends in the evening and kind of didn't feel like picking up the camera. I just wanted to be with my friends. But yeah, today hasn't really been much. My brother and his girlfriend have come for like the day. They're going to Scotland tomorrow and borrowing my mum's car. So they've just come now and they're leaving tomorrow obviously to get the car. But isn't this vlog so exciting? <laughs> oh, this is just the reality though. Like last weekly vlog was so fun. I did loads and now this week. Not a lot. It is Thursday evening now and I haven't posted a video all week yet. Obviously I'm trying to get back into like posting properly but like I didn't have a video ready and then normally I would go and just rush and film like an assumptions or something but I just don't want to. I just don't want to like just film a video just for the sake of putting up a video. So I'm planning some stuff to film over the weekend. Me and my brother were supposed to film a few videos but he goes to Newcastle on Sunday and he's working every day. So I don't know if that'll happen. Riveting. So exciting. <laughs> There's... Fri Jesus, Friday. <laughs> um, at actually quarter to one. Gosh, this is what I hate whenever I go to the gym at like 10 o'clock. Because I keep going to sleep really late. Well, like one. So then I'm waking up at nine and I'm in the gym by like 10. And then I'm out by like half 11. And then by the time I've like maybe had something to eat, showered and stuff. It's gone past midday. But again, don't really have any plans today. I need to get a picture for an ad. So so I'm just gonna get ready now. I just called like my hairdressers because I want my hair re-dyed and cut. I don't have an appointment until the 24th, which is only like 10 days, but like I kind of want it done now. <laughs> so I might call this other hairdressers. Then if I've not had my hair dyed there before, they're gonna make me have a patch test. But anyway, I'm gonna get a bit ready. I'm not gonna put like foundation or anything on. I say that I'm putting on like literally everything except from front, front, foundation. I feel really exhausted. I always feel really exhausted when I come back from the gym. So we've come to take photos. I'm just in this little Zara top. Oh, you can see my underwear. I have an outfit skirt and there's a cute house back there, but we think it might be a bit blowy. This corner's always blowy. It's like on the corner of the sea. It is a bit, I don't know how the lighting's gonna be either because it's literally, pardon? 
Um, because it's literally clouds, so wish me luck. Gosh, this hasn't been a good vlog, has it? So it's a bit later now, it's actually half four, and I just booked a nail appointment like an hour ago, which was not stupid of me, but I basically didn't realize the time and I'm late. <laughs> they said, come around, you're gonna fall, I'm reversing. They said, come around half four, so I'm on my way now. My friend Amy was doing my acrylics for a while, no, my nails in her salon for a while, and she's so talented and so sick. Um, but the short life I feel like just isn't for me and I have my friends like kind of birthday party on Sunday and I just fancy some nails and I obviously was going to El Row um, and I've just ordered three outfits for them they've come today but El Row is now cancelled so I was thinking oh I'll have nails for birthday party in El Row but El Row is cancelled so just the birthday party it is um, but yeah I just fancied some long nails so we're gonna go and treat ourselves get some acrylics um, there we go, right, okay, I'm just gonna see you there because I don't have my car tripod up or anything. I'm thinking just a simple all color one blue, but quite a vibrant blue. Like a vibrant but cool blue. We'll see. Bro, it is seven o'clock. I love this place, right, this nail place. I'll show you them in a sec, they're just blue with two little evil eyes. They look kind of cool from afar. Up close to Rip Van Jacks. <laughs> Um, but they just give you appointments they don't have. I went in at half four, right? And there's three people that work there and one girl just does, um, she's been working there for like, quite actually a while at this point, but she just does, um, she just does, like, she sticks on the tips of the acrylic, will do like, like she painted one of the children's like nails who are in there, like she's, and like will soak nails off, but she doesn't like, do the actual acrylic process. There's only two of them that actually like do full nails. And I walked in at half four and I'm not joking. So bear in mind, like I said, there's three people that work there. There was maybe 12 people in that place. I'm not joking. And then a girl walked in after me, so at five o'clock, but to be fair, I, I did stuff on my phone that I had to do, so that was good that I'd been putting off for like three weeks, so that's all right. But then a girl walked in, so my appointment was at half four, girl walked in at five and they told her to come back in 40 minutes. So she comes back in at half five, 20 to six, and she's just been sat there waiting for an hour. They didn't start my nails until six. They've only just finished, it's t five to t seven. That's what I mean, they're not, they're quick as well. When they do it, they're quick and they're good, so I love them, but they do just give away appointments they just do not have. Like I waited an hour and a half in the shop, but they're done and it's fine, and I'm not doing anything and they look cool. I thought when I picked the color as well, like I just didn't do a good job. They're like a teal color, not completely blue. And I was like, oh gosh, it's such a cool tone. My hands look grey, like they've just made them so pale, but they don't. And I'm going to go home and, home and tan to tonight anyway, so. Let's go home now, because I'm hungry and my parents are going out and they've probably gone out by now, so. Okay, not going to lie, we were going to have a nice little cluck, cluck, cook home alone moment when I came back. But I was so hungry, it's literally half seven I came in. Just cooked straight away. I've literally just got pasta, pesto pasta, and a lot. As you can see, a feta cheese. It's actually packed with protein. So uh, there's a lot of that on my plate. Um, and I'm going to sit and eat this and watch a little Darby's new vlog. I actually never ever watched her before she was pregnant. Gosh, I left you down here. You'll already know by the time this goes up. But do we think Liberty and Jake are going to break up? Ooh, do we? I do. Well, I do from what they're going to show tomorrow night. All the girls telling her like, well, oh, we don't know. Because clearly the girls aren't blind. It's now, oh God, so much later. Tonight was meant to be our night. I just did a big fat Q&A on my Instagram because I just wanted to chat to people when I was sitting watching Love Island that I like, um, you know, doing two things at once because I am Gen Z and I can't just watch TV. Um, so I was answering questions and it was quite fun. But now it's time to fake tan. Well, first I'm gonna hang and put away all these clothes. But then, then we're gonna fake tan. I can't catch a break. Mom, my parents want me to go and pick them up. I haven't even showered or exfoliated yet. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> Just lit a bloody candle, uh, God's sake. I don't know if I have time to quickly shower. Come and wait for dad. Okay then. Guess I'll go get my parents. I won't film them because I think mum is drunk. <laughs> so let me just pause Hannah and A quick. Let's do a first impression of this. So I exfoliated with the mitt and the 
actually exfoliant. I'm, I'm a shaver after the tan's developed. Okay, so it is coloured. Oh my god. Wow. I mean... First, wow, that smells great. Oh, I've missed the smell of fake tan. <laughs> oh my god, and it's like glossy. Wow, that guide colour is a lovely colour. So if it looks anything like that, I will be impressed. Right, okay, I'll do my whole body and then maybe I'll show you what it looks like once I've like done it. I've not fake tanned in, I actually don't know how long. Like months and months. I wasn't gonna show you because I was gonna put my pyjama straight on, but I just put this on to run to the toilet. So this is the colour we're looking at. I feel like that's a bit more accurate. It is quite dark. Really, really lovely, like actually just tanned color. Like it is actually gorgeous. I've put tan drops on my face. What ones do I have? Isle of Paradise. Just because my skin's broken out and I've kind of stopped using body tan on my face anyway. But yeah, this is the, the color we are working with. This is the tan now. I've just woke up. This is the color of the tan. It's actually so nice. Excuse the mess. I slept on towels. But this is the colour. I actually think it's a really, really nice colour. It's literally just kind of like a tanned brown. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not greeny, it's not orangey. It's actually just a really nice colour. And the chest will be, my mum will tell me that it's a really nice colour. That's actually probably, like, my favourite tan of you. It's like, my stomach just looks tanned. Not fake tanned, not anything, just... Just a bit brown. We're gonna go for breakfast now. Me and my brother and my mum. Look at this. Breakfast of warriors. That is a huge lump of spinach. <laughs> oh yes. So, are your eggs running? Oh, you got orange eggs. My eggs are so hard. Oh, that's a shame. They're normally really good in here. I'll do a test on the vlog. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, she's got a runny centre. Oh, I didn't even take a pic for the ground before I cut them open. Now they just look embarrassing. <laughs> we were just taking pictures. I had to run back because I left my Invisalign. Luckily, he hasn't actually cleared the table yet. I literally do this everywhere. So, it is now half three. Um, as soon as I came back from breakfast, I went to the gym. I've literally just got back. I was in the gym for what felt like ages. Probably only like an hour and a half. And my ASOS order has come. I think I was saying to you guys how I ordered some blue tops for the trousers. Did I tell you this? And if they don't match, I'm going to turn the dress into a... Well, I'm not. My mum is going to turn the dress into a cord top. So let's sit that back down in our little hall spot. And let's see. So these are the trousers I'm wearing tomorrow. Only thing is they're all like very tiny. Also, my nails literally match perfectly. So I don't know if I'm just going to be a bit overdressed and like naked. Okay, this one doesn't even exist. Oh, it's weekday. So this technically was a bra. And I didn't know if you'd be able to tell, but like... Okay, okay, yeah, that literally doesn't match at all. A different shade of blue, like, could be fun if it worked. This misguided one looks like it could be good. This one is literally just a triangle, though, like a triangle bikini vibe. I don't think this is going to be nice. All right, let's try them on. So, this is the first up, and I actually love it. Like, I think the colour's great. But, like, it is barbecue day drinks vibes in her garden. So, I feel like this is way too much. <laughs> This is fun festival vibes like oh my god guys Elro got cancelled did I tell you I bought like six outfits for Elro and well three I am a liar um and it's got cancelled definitely definitely way too much and the other two literally don't match so I don't even know at this point see look this one's a cute match but it's even smaller I always make this I say smoothie because it is literally just frying frozen frozen mango milk and protein powder but for some reason frozen mango just goes into mousse but today Oh, it's melted slightly. You can't really. I've got a good video. I'll put it in. Today just went unbelievable. And I wish I weighed it because I've got no idea how much I put in of what. Mango eaten. I can't believe it's literally 20 to 5. Um, I'm now going to sit and edit this vlog that you're watching because obviously I'm off to my friend's party tomorrow. But I say party. The party makes me feel like I'm in year 9. Um, I kind of want to go out tonight. Not out. Like, I literally don't want to get drunk. I just want to have a boogie, a sober boogie. But we'll see, I need to edit this. 